Hey guys, one tab here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back inside of our hardcore world, and it's the final episode of 400 Days. We're gonna be finally wrapping up this 100 day segment. Now, if you're new around here and you enjoy my content, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button. We are on our way to 50,000 of you guys. Anyway, that's enough talking. I think we all know what's going on. If you need a recap, check down the description below. I got a playlist of all the previous episodes. But for now, let's get straight into this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoy. And now it is day 376, and I remember at the very beginning of this 100 day segment, I said that I wanted to complete the library fully by the time we reached 400 days. Well, it's only about 25 days left, so I better get started. To decorate the interior, of course, I'm gonna need a lot of books, so I think I should start with trading with some villagers first. We got the villagers down here in the basement of the library that actually will trade us some bookshelves, so that's gonna be pretty helpful in this project. Of course, I'm gonna have to grab a bit more spruce wood for the inside of this house, so day 376 was basically just a gathering materials day. And when the next day rolled around, it was time to get started with building. I started placing down some bookshelves, but I'm definitely gonna need to trade a bit more with those librarians to get more bookshelves, because this probably isn't enough. And I also filled in these white concrete walls right here at the entrance, because I was planning them out for a while, and I'm just gonna fill them in now, because why not? I'm also gonna have to trade a bit more with some villagers, because right now the amount of bookshelves that we have is just not enough. And seriously though, filling up the roof was so boring. The inside area of this library is pretty large, so it took me a while just to place the floor for the ceiling. We might actually include some stuff up there, like an attic or something in the future. Also, right in the center of one of these like circle balcony thingies on the inside, I think I'm gonna try adding a chandelier. Just a super simple one. Just like the classic fence design where you kind of um, make the fences kind of poking outwards and I'm gonna add some lanterns on them. And this continued over the next two or so days, um, just trading with some villagers. And I managed to amass a ton of emeralds from all this trading. And it's adding more into the interior of the library. Yeah, just placing down some more bookshelves and adding some more decorations to spice up the environment inside of here. Also, I really have no idea what I want to do with this room right now. I'm just gonna add some doors in the front to make it look nicer, I guess. And then also this room as well. I think I might make this one like an office, actually. This could be an office. And I guess this room could be like a bathroom. Because, you know, all libraries need a bathroom, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to get some materials for that. I don't really... I'm not really used to decorating bathrooms, so this is going to be interesting. Alright, what's up, guys? It's a brand new morning. I'm excited to show you guys what I came up with. So here we go. We got the two doors. I'm probably going to have some signs up there later, but we don't have that right now. Inside, we got... This is the sink. I know it kind of looks weird, but you're going to have to deal with it. That is the tap, and there's some water in there. Looking pretty good. Over here, we got the toilet. It's just a cauldron, super basic, and that button right there is just uh, how to flush it. And we have no toilet paper here because, um, I guess this library doesn't support toilet paper. No, I'm just kidding. We, uh, there's no room here at all. And the other room is exactly identical. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little bathroom tour. It's time to move on to building some other things. Also, I just want to say, look at our emerald count, man. This is absolutely absurd. Even if I take these 11 blocks real quick, I'm gonna craft them as normal emeralds. We can really look at this thing. Jeez, we are rich, rich, bro. How many stacks is that? Now that we've gained a lot more levels, I decided to go and spend them and start working on getting a Smite 4 or Smite 5 sword. So right here, I'm kind of just putting in some more lapis. Let's see what we can get here. There's a disenchanting everything I don't need. Let's see what we got. Oh, Smite 4! Smite 4! Dude, that literally took, like, how many enchants? Like, three? Smite 4 and Unbreaking 3. Now, I can probably combine some of these Smite 2 swords and make it Smite 5. I think that's possible. Hopefully I'm not wrong. What do we get here? Just smite 2. I'll get smite 2 again. Perfect. Well, we're close to getting a smite 5 sword, hopefully. So I'm over here at my weaponsmith, and I brought my anvil with me because I think I have enough to make this into a smite 5 if I have enough XP points. So that is going to cost 6 points to get to smite 3. Guess I'll do that, and then we'll do it again. Should be another 6 points. Yep. We're already down to 19. Now this costs 10. Yeah, we only have 9 left. Yeah, we definitely do not have enough. That costs 19 levels, but we can get Smite 5 on Breaking 3. That is crazy, man. Smite 5. That's cool. Thank you, Villager, for your service, but I must leave now. Oh, and also, I don't know if I should shut off this Villager breeding thing. It's reproducing at an alarming rate. And also, when I got home to put back our swords, I forgot that our sword isn't even max yet. All we have is Sharpness 4 on this thing. Like, we could add... We have to add Sharpness 5, of course. We could have, like, Sweeping Edge. Maybe some Fire Aspect could be nice. There's a lot of other there are possibilities I could do. I should probably be focusing on my sword instead of just some other random ones. And so since I only had nine levels, I'm gonna go and uh, use my mob grinder. I haven't used this thing in a while. Dude, I really need to build an enderman like mob grinder kind of thing because those enderman farms give you so much XP. That was the main thing that I used back in season one. Also, I literally sat here for like 20 seconds and look how many mobs there are already. This thing is actually not bad, especially for like an early game kind of mob farm. Oh, whoa. Do not get too close to them. I almost forgot about that. I don't want them exploding up here. 
Okay, so right now you can see that I'm at level 25. I've been doing the mob grinder thing for a little bit. But I just thought of an idea. Can you fight the inner dragon a second time and get the same amount of XP? Or does it give you a reduced amount of XP? I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to go and try to do it anyway. Because every time you fight the inner dragon, it opens up a new nether gateway. And um, I think if you kill it 20 or so times, it opens it 20 times in like a full circle. That'd be kind of sick. But yeah, I got to go to the nether to um, get some gas tears to make those end crystals to actually respawn it. Which also gives us an achievement. So it's going to be good to do this anyway. Also getting a bit sidetracked here, but I just found a Bastion Remnant, I think, because I just got this achievement. And um, this is uh, the first one I've come across in this world, so that's pretty sick. I might have to get a bit distracted and try to loot this thing. I gotta be super careful, though, because uh, I know those guys can do a lot of damage to you. And here is what I got from some of these chests. Also, this is all that I looted because it was getting really dangerous in there, and I figured I would just leave it for another day. I wrote down the coordinates so it'd be easier to go back there next time. Phew, now that we're back home, it's time to craft up these uh, end crystal thingies. This is gonna be exciting. I'm pretty sure I'm kinda overpowered for this fight, so I'm not really gonna prepare that much. But gotta clear my inventory first. Also, I'm not trying to use a billion rockets and fly over there again, so I'm just gonna use my nether ceiling. This way, if I wanna go back and forth, I can do it pretty easily. Alright, now that our portal is built, let's see how close this thing is to our actual, like, uh, tunnel into the end portal. Wait, I think I recognize this. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's literally right here. It's like four blocks away. That's perfect, man. It's right next to our little tunnel. That's sick. So now I'm here. All I gotta do, I think, is just place these end crystals in this kind of formation. One there, one here, and the last one. All right. Oh, there, there we go. It's happening. It's working, boys. That's kind of sick. I'm gonna kind of run backwards as I have no idea if this thing is gonna explode or not. Look at that thing, man. That's beautiful. Wait, even the iron bars come back. That's kind of cool. But also kind of annoying because that means I have to climb up there again and break those things. And I think it should spawn now. It should be up there. Come on, I'm waiting for it. There we go. We got the achievement. The end again. Time to go fight this thing now. Also, I don't know what kind of visual glitch this was, but he was going invisible when I looked at his head, so that was kind of weird. Also, I could have easily killed him here, but I wanted to kill him in more style. This was, uh, just hitting with a sword was kind of boring. So, I managed to do this. And that was it, ladies and gentlemen. We just killed the Ender Dragon for the second time. But sadly, it looks like it does give you reduced XP. It still managed to push us up to level 30, though, so that's great. We can finally make our Smite 5 sword. Yay, I don't think you've ever heard anybody say that in Minecraft. Who gets excited about a Smite 5 sword? Also, I'm trying to find our second end gateway that opened up somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. I found it. Awesome. Now we gotta fight him 18 more times to complete the circle? Yeah, I'm probably never gonna do that. Alright, we got the experience levels. Let's do this. Smite 5 and Unbreaking 3 on a diamond sword. This is costing me 19 levels, man. That was definitely the best 19 levels that I've ever spent in my whole life. No doubt about it at all. Oh, and also, anyway, let's name our sword right now. Why not? I saw a lot of comments down below, but the ones that stuck out to me that I kind of thought were funny were One Tap. Thanks, you guys, for the suggestion. And it's kind of funny because my name is One Tap. My sword, don't worry, I'm going to get Sharpness 500, I promise. And maybe some other kind of cool enchants just to make it better. Hopefully, we can One Tap some mobs with this thing. And don't forget, if you want a chance for your name to be featured in the next episode, we're going to be doing the pickaxe and the shovel next episode. So drop some comments down below. What do you guys think I should name them? Well, now that everything's back and settled, it's time to continue working on the library so i traded with some more red villagers and placed down some more bookshelves decorating the interior of the library a little bit more i also need to place torches around the outside of this library because mobs keep on getting near it and it's annoying all right cue the time lapse for decorating the inside
Alright, so it's been a minute since I've been recording and I want to show you guys what I've done on the interior. I've basically finished it up. Um, also, yeah, I planted these trees here. I decided not to do custom ones because uh, I, I wasn't too great at them. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but this is the one I did in the last episode. I actually don't think I showed it, but it's... I don't even know what it looks like, man. It looks more like a mushroom. That's green, kinda. Alright, anyway, let's get back onto the library. So, in the front, I got these nice trees out. These are just normal spruce trees I placed from saplings. I think it works. And now, uh, we welcome you inside of the grand library. Now, these, I, they look a bit weird. I literally tried my best. I couldn't figure out any sort of lighting that I could do right here without making it weird. At first, I wanted it to be in the ground, but I realized that if I broke this, you can actually see that it goes into the basement, so I can't do that. On our left here, we got the bathrooms. Uh, this is the woman, this is the men, boys bathroom. On this side, we have our uh, lectern thing with a book. This is going to be our library catalog, which is where uh, we're going to figure out where all of our books are. And yeah, this place is staff only, as you guys can see right here. If we walk inside, this is going to be an office. I haven't even built that yet. But if we make a right turn from the entrance of it, we got these rows right here. This is where we're going to be putting some books. These signs are going to be like telling us what books are going to go inside of here. So we've got three slots right there. Over here is a nice little chill reading area, I guess. Put some carpet down, some seating. Uh, I need to fix the lighting here, definitely. The lighting is not done here yet. So it's going to be a bit dark and it might be a bit dangerous uh, with mobs. Hopefully uh, no mobs blow up this place because that'd be really sad. And then on this side, it's basically just empty except this wall. Haven't really finished it yet. There's just so many bookshelves, man. There's It's crazy how many bookshelves that I've used. Now we're upstairs. We got uh, these computers over here. Also computers on that side as well. Some chandeliers. I think you guys already noticed that. And also these things are kind of, uh, I don't know what to do here, but I, I needed lighting. And this is the only way that I could figure out um, that it wouldn't look too weird, I guess. Just some trap doors and then there's glowstone behind it. Alright, so if we walk over here, this is just some decoration, nothing over there. And yeah, this isn't finished. And then there's also one more side over here we want to go check out. This is where we're going to be putting our mending book. Oh, that's a, that's a bit too far of a zoom. This is where we're going to be putting our mending book. You can tell uh, what I did with the signs right here. That's kind of how it's going to work. And more slots right here against this wall right here. Uh, just kind of a window that you can... Look out and see my house. Over here, just some more slots for books, and that's kind of it. But I really like how this library turned out. I really love the bookshelves, man. Just The bookshelves look so sick, dude. They're just so calming, except down there. That looks a bit scary because it's too dark. Well, anyway, I've been building for a pretty long time now. I think it's probably a good time to take a break and start doing something else. All right, but real quick, I want to actually add some lighting here. I got to get some glowstone. The next thing that I want to add on, actually, is to our house because uh, we have a ton of open space in our house. I think you guys already realized that. And I think I'm going to fill up one part of it over here just to be like a kitchen kind of where I can store my food. Just an idea because I gotta start filling in some of this empty space. So the next day I got started working on this like cozy little wood styled kitchen area over here. There's not that much room since the staircase. It's not really in a good spot. I don't really like where it is and yeah I don't know. I'm gonna have to deal with it though because it's gonna be really hard to move it and I'm not really sure where I would move it. But yeah it's coming together kind of nicely. I'm just gonna be storing all of my food here. Um I'm basically done building it. I'm just trying to add some foods in here now. You can kind of see what it's looking like. I really love the cozy atmosphere that this thing gives off. As you can see, I added a bunch of decorations on the tables and stuff. And I think maybe some carpets actually down here could be nice. Yeah, I'll go add that. Day 393, I got these two armor stands on me. This is where I'm going to be placing some of the armor that we're going to be working toward right now. So next up, we got those trash swords. We had Bane of Arthropods, we got Smites. Let's try to get some trash armor. Or not really trash. Let's go for like a blast protection or just like a different type of protection on it. So I think, yeah, we're going to try to go for blast protection first. Uh, time to head over to our enchanting area. Wait, this this is not my uh, enchanting area, my bad. Alright, right over here. I went in the right place this time. Dude, I just realized I forgot to bring Lapis. What am I doing? So basically, I just enchanted a lot, got some more XP to try to get some blast protection armor. But then midway through, I decided to switch to fire protection because I actually had the opportunity given to me right here when I got fire protection for an unbreaking three leggings. Now for the second enchant, I'm taking a gamble on this one. Oh my goodness, the luck. Fire protection four. Good thing I took that chance. All right, three times in a row. Can we get this? Is this unbreaking three? Oh no, protection four. Dude, never thought I'd say this, but I do not want protection four on breaking three right now. All right, I'm gonna take another gamble here. We're gonna do unbreaking three. Ooh, blast protection four. Not quite the fire protection we're looking for, but I'll keep that because I know we're gonna need that later. Okay, so I know I'm getting a bit carried away with all this stuff, but like in Minecraft, you wanna try getting everything that is possible to even get. So it'd be really sick if we had a museum where it showcased all the armor sets all maxed out and everything in each separate class. That would honestly be amazing. Okay, so I was able to get a blast protection for diamond helmet as well as a projectile protection for diamond chest plate. So the blast one's gonna go here and the projectile protection one will go here. Now we are well on our way of getting all of the armor sets. 
And from days 397 to 398, I worked on the villager hall in the basement of the library, expanding it and making it larger, placing some more villagers inside of there. I think we already showed multiple time lapses of this happening, so I don't think we gotta do that again. Well guys, I added some lighting out in the front here. These are kind of as a slight mob problem inside the library right now. I'll work on getting that fixed, I hope. And yeah, I added some more lighting back here. It's just some carpets to cover up the glowstone like you can see under this carpet, for example. Yeah, there's some glowstone there. Hopefully it prevents some mobs from spawning up here. Now into the basement. If you look onto your left over here, you got this door and it just patches up the ugliness over here. Uh, so there's kind of like a barrier. And I also added another row of things here. We got some more spots for villagers because right now they're actually filled up because we got a brand new one and it's a feather falling three villager, which I need because I do not have any feather falling on my boots yet. So it's looking like we got a pretty nice villager collection so far. Super excited to see how big this thing becomes. Sheesh, are these maxed boots now, bro? Those things look insane. They have to be maxed, right? I'm not sure what I'd be missing. And also, I was flying over our rainbow wool sheep farm over here, and I forgot that we never got this thing done. I was pretty optimistic at the beginning of this 100 days that I would be able to finish off this rainbow sheep farm, but once again, we do not have the cocoa beans to be able to get the purple, or not the purple, the brown dye. So next 100 days, we're definitely going to get this thing finished. We're going to head off to a jungle and grab those cocoa beans. And to end off day 399, I filled in these windows here that I never actually built for some random reason. I don't remember why. I guess I just forgot about them. Well, that makes things look a bit better, I guess. Also, fireplace. I gotta build that. Oh, and if you're wondering what this kitchen looks like, here it is. I don't think I actually showed you guys when I first finished it. Oh, uh, we got all the foods lined up on the top, and then we got this nice black and white tiling floor. I really like how this thing looks. And that is the end of our 400 days journey. Looking back at all of the things that we've managed to build on this epic adventure, it's kind of crazy how I got this far. I want to thank every single one of you guys for sticking through this series with me. It's been super fun to make, definitely one of my favorite series I've ever done on this channel. Just looking at the house, man, this thing is absolutely amazing. If you showed me this image right here, like, I don't know, a year ago or so before I started this series, I would be absolutely astonished. I'd be like, there's no way I could build that. But I've learned a lot of techniques from this series, season two, as well as the first series, which is season one. I think if you guys went back and watched season one, my builds would be not as good as this. I know I'm kind of being a bit harsh on myself, but like, let's be honest here, I've definitely grown as a builder. Also, I already got some plans for 500 days, man. We gotta visit a jungle to get cocoa beans, like I just stated before, but I also want to visit a woodland mansion. We still have not done that. And also make sure to stick around for next week, because I'll be releasing the full 400 days movie as well as a cinematic world tour. Well, that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like. Leave some comments down below for some suggestions. What should I do in this world? What other games should I try out? And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.